Color, texture, line. A combination of techniques an artist strives to perfect. But the best works come from not thinking and just doing. Like one local artist. And man, does he have a tale to tell. Oh, yes, good job. Meet Metro, a retired racehorse who's taken up a new hobby. He's always bobbing his head up and down. And if I could teach him to hold a brush in his mouth, maybe he would put all that head bobbing to good use. And he picked it up real quick. Last year, Metro was diagnosed with bone growth in his knees and given two years until his knees would completely lock and he wouldn't even be able to stand. So I didn't want to turn him out in the pasture and wait for his knees to lock up. I wanted to spend time with him. And so I'm an artist myself, so I thought, well, maybe I can teach him to hold a paintbrush. And boy, can he. Metro's paintings range from $50 to $700, depending on their size. And one even sold for $2,100 on eBay. And all the money goes to a good cause. We donate half of the profits to New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. So they, he's helping uh, find homes for other racehorses just like himself. The other half of the proceeds goes back into Metro for knee treatments. There you go. The 10-year-old is getting a drug that has yet to be approved by the FDA and has never been used to treat knees. The x-ray showed that uh, they reversed the bone growth in his knees and he's going to live a lot longer than the two years that was guaranteed to him. So, I mean, his painting saved his own life too. Paints just for the fun of it. Humans try to make everything perfect. He just he just paints because he enjoys it. In Frederick County, Megan Tadaro, CNS TV.